I'll be showing you end to end here how to create the best footer for your Shopify Dawn theme. We'll be starting with a blank footer. I'll be going over all the different settings you can customize. So let's dive right into it here. So on the left hand side from our Shopify dashboard, let's go to online store. Now we we'll wanna go into our theme customization settings. So on my currently installed theme, we can see it's the current version and it's Dawn. And I'm gonna click on customize. This will open up our Shopify theme editor. And here we can go and edit the footer section. So I'm gonna scroll to the bottom here and we can currently see our footer has nothing in it. And so in our theme editor, there are three overall sections here. On our left hand side, we have our overall menu for sections, settings, and app embeds. Since we have our sections open, we can see the sub menu here for all our items on our homepage. We can see our theme preview in the center and our further customization settings on the right hand side. So from our sub menu, let's scroll down to the bottom. We can see footer has been added by default. And so within your footer, you can add our what are called blocks. So these are preset selections, either from different apps you've installed. We can add theme blocks for menu, brand information, text, and image. So let's go and add three of these blocks here, and then we'll dive into the customization settings. So I'm gonna click on menu, add block, brand information, add block, text. And I'll just add another menu here, as I'll show you how to have multiple menus in your footer section. To note, if you hover on different sections and click on them, this will bring you to different parts of the Shopify page. So first, let's go over the overall settings. So now that I have footer selected on the right hand side, this will be our further detailed menu. So at the top here, we can see our color scheme. By default, this is scheme number one. You can change the color scheme. You can also edit the colors in the color scheme as well. Next, we have our email signup button. So Shopify Dawn has this built in by default. So if I toggle this, it's going to display this below our current blocks and it lets the customer subscribe to our email list. So we can change the text too to say subscribe to our emails for 15% off. Next, we have our follow on shop button. So if we toggle this, we can see what it looks like. To note, this actually won't display because shop pay isn't enabled on our current Shopify store. I'm going to detoggle that for now. Next, we have our social media icons. So if I to click on show social media icons, we can see they are now displayed in the bottom. Next, we have our country region selector. So I can toggle this here. And if I have different countries and regions in my Shopify store, this will be enabled. The same goes for languages. So toggling this on or off will display the language selector depending on the language settings of your Shopify store. Next, we have payment methods. So if we click on here, this will show the different payment methods available. This store doesn't have any setup. So they will be displayed here in their icons. Lastly, we have show policy links. So if I click on this here, it's below this theme editor. So if I change the preview, we might be able to see it a little better. It looks to still be in our way here, but it will show your policy links, such as your terms of service, your contact information, and your refund policies. These are good to have here as they make them accessible to the customer. We also get options on spacing. So the top margin, is gonna be our buffer section here. So if I can increase this all the way, we can see it adds that extra space there. Padding is gonna be within our element. So if I increase them all the way, we can see what they look like. And it's gonna be this space here and this space below down here. So if we move further down here, there's gonna be theme settings. You may be wondering why I have social media icons already displayed. And that is because I already linked my Facebook accounts in this theme, but you're basically just gonna get the URLs here and paste them in. We can also access this section here by going to the left-hand side under theme settings, going down to social media, and I can see my icons are here. If I click on the footer element again, I will see the theme sections or settings at the bottom here. So this is gonna pull from our overall theme settings. So we can see the headline for the brand information, the description, as well as all the other social media links you may want to save in here, depending on what you have for your Shopify store. So that's the overall theme settings for our footer. Let's now take a look at each of the individual sections. So we added in a quick link section, a brand information section, a heading, and an additional quick links one. So let's click on the first one here. So we can give it a title, we can bold this, italicize it, but it's going to link to one of your Shopify menus. I have the footer menu set up here. If you click on it, this will open up your Shopify navigation and this menu directly. So from here, you can add different elements to this footer menu. Let's say I want to add a new menu element, maybe say about us, then I can paste a link or search for it here from our Shopify pages and I can link to the about us page. Once I hit add and then save, 
this will add this to our current menu. So if you want to customize the navigation for these menus, go to your Shopify dashboard, open up online store and then navigation. This will let you add and drag around your different elements or remove them so you can customize the links exactly. And then once you have the menu established, you can simply just change the menu that is selected. Maybe I want my main menu to show up here instead of that customized footer menu. I can then click select in the bottom right and that will update the quick links. For brand information, this is going to come from your theme settings directly. You can also toggle the social media icons. Maybe I don't want them displayed there as I want them displayed in the bottom right. To edit the brand information, you can simply just click on the edit brand information link and this will open it up on the left hand side menu. And from there, we can update the headline, the description, add an image and set the image width. Maybe I want to change the headline to the ultimate camping store for new campers. I want to select all of it and bold it. So that brand information is going to be pulled directly from your theme settings. Now for the heading, I can just go and add a custom one here. Maybe I don't want to pull from the brand information as I have that information displayed somewhere else. I just want a custom footer text. Maybe it's a special policy. Maybe you want to link refund information here directly. It's really going to be up to you on what you want to add in this completely customizable heading here. The last one is quick links. Maybe we want a different menu. Here we have our main menu. So this is probably okay to leave as our additional footer menu. Now to note, you can add just about any block you like here. So let's say I want to add more text blocks and more menu blocks. I can keep on doing so and it will just fill out my footer section. There are certain Shopify apps that can also be added here. So if I click on add block, I can see what are called app blocks. Maybe I want to add a review carousel in my footer. And so that will add a separate element here. Looks a little cramped here based on how many I have. So I might not want to do it, but it is going to be up to you and your Shopify theme. I can maybe change the width here to fix that actually looking at the settings, although it still doesn't look too great here in my footer. So I could easily just remove this by clicking on the element and there should be a trash bin icon in red. So if I click remove, I can also hit remove in the bottom right here. And so that will remove that section and it will automatically adjust the columns displayed. So once you're done with all these settings you just have to hit save in the top right here and that will save any changes you made to your footer menu if you've ever generated any sales on shopify you know how hard it is to keep track of how much money your store has actually made there's your ad spend your cost of goods sold your transaction fees your shopify app fees there's a ton of different costs that go into running an e-commerce store that's where our sponsor profit calc comes in it's the one click profit calculator available for your Shopify store. All you have to do is select the date range you're looking for to get real time calculations so you can see how profitable you are in just one click. It's going to include all your detailed metrics that you need, as well as many different cost of goods sold options. And it syncs seamlessly with all your different ad accounts from Facebook, Google, Snapchat, Pinterest, and TikTok, as well as Bing. So you can get all of your costs into one place. There's a 15 day free trial, so you can test drive everything out for yourself. And there's a link in the description below to access the Shopify app listing. You can also find it in the Shopify app store by searching profit calc and looking for this logo in the top left here. But overall, this concludes the video here. We went over all the different customizations you can make to your footer menu in the Shopify Dawn theme. I hope this video helped and you have a much better understanding now and your footer looks great. If you enjoyed the video, I would love it so much if you smash that like and subscribe button below. If you have any questions, leave a comment. But thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.